Good morning, students. Uh, today, uh, degree first year uh, BCCS and the PGED CEM are the three classes. Today, topic about the uh, Tiro Phyta. Uh, in Tiro Phyta, third uh, class. Then, next about the here, uh, Tiro Phyta based example is uh, Mars Syria. This is a very important phyta example for us. Uh, today, about the discussion about the morphology of the Mars Syria and uh, anatomy of the rhizome and anatomy of the root and anatomy of the petiole. And now come to the uh, topic. Uh, first about this is the Marsilia plant body. Actually in here Marsilia shows number of different characters from other pterodophytes. Actually this is a dominant group in the pterodophyte. Then this uh, Marsilia plant uh, shows the underground rhizome. This underground rhizome is prostrate, prostrate on the earth. Then next step about here, this Marsilia plant body is differentiated into three parts. One is root, another one is stem and the third one is leaf. These three parts are easily identify the plant. Then next step about here, Marsilia, first of all this is the underground rhizome. This underground rhizome parallelly arrange the roots. Then this underground rhizome is differentiated into nodes and winter roots. Each and nodal part, upper portion produces the petiole of the leaf and the lower portion produces the roots, tap roots. Then next here, these roots are used for the absorption of water. Rhizome is uh, prostately uh, prostately go on the underground rising. Then next step about this is the nodal part. This nodal part produces the aerial petioles. These are petioles. Long petioles are upper. This is the one special character. Then next step about the, uh, you observe the some different characters in the neophyta members and Marsilia. First one is these are called as water plants. That means these plants are mainly uh, live on the moist, shady uh, and uh, water condition. So these are called as uh, water plants. Then amphibious plant. Amphibious plant are nothing but the, they have the capacity of living on the water and also earth. So this is an amphibious plant in Marsilia. Then next uh, it is look like as a clover plant of the angiosperms. Angiosperm is a dominant group but look like as a clover plant. Then they have the underground rhizome, this is a prostate rhizome. Then the plant body is, a, the stem is a differentiated into nodes and internodes. Then leaf is, a, shows the dichotomous branchy. Leaf venation shows the dichotomous branchy. Then these leaves are deeply lobed leaflets here. Leaves are deeply lobed having the leaflets. Then the leaflet shape is obovate or wedge shaped. Obovate or wedge shaped. Then leaves are pinnately compound. You observe the city leaf structure. Actually, this is a wings condition. They show the four lobes. The upper two lobes are called as a proximal wing and the lower lobes are called as a distal wing. Here, this is a lower uh, nothing but the uh, very close to the petiole, uh, these lobes are called as distal pair and uh, another one is called as a proximal pair. You observe the weeds, they show the dichotomous uh, branch. Uh, this is the leaf character and uh, this uh, petiole is totally covered with uh, hair like uh, structures. These hair like structures are called as a romanta. Called as a romanta. This is another special character of the Marsilia. Then below the petiole part shows the capsule like structures. Uh, these are capsules of the Marsilia. And uh, at the night time, uh, these leaflets are folded, right? Uh, folded. They show the different characters in the Marsilia. One is uh, presenting of the petiole. A second one is a dichotomous branching of venation. Then third one is a, it have the four lobes, deeply lobes and pinnately compound leaves are present. Then next uh, this pace, lobe pace are proximal pair, another one is a distal pair. This is 
the morphological characters of the marsilia then coming to the anatomy here first you observe the root anatomy this is the root you can take the ds of the root it is shows the number of the characters here the first character is epidermis second one is cortex third one is stem first about the epidermis here epidermis is a single layer uh, and uh, here some developed roots shows the two layer epidermis two layer epidermis very thick epidermis the second region is called as cortex here cortex is differentiated into three regions one is the outer cortex second one is the middle cortex third one is the inner cortex you observe in the figure this uh, part is called as the outer cortex this outer cortex have the number of eight cavities in between eight cavities they have the filament like structures these filament like structures are called as a trabeculae called as a trabeculae the next region is called as a middle and inner cortex here middle cortex is composed with the sclerenchyma and inner cortex is composed with the parenchyma then come to the stela portion and the first outermost layer is called as endodermis then next to the following layer is called as a pericyte in the complete total middle region they have the four metaxylum these metaxylum have the both sides of the metaxylum have the protoxylum the in between place is totally occupied by the phloem this is a root anatomy in here root anatomy the special character is the formation of trabeculae and uh, and the eight cavities this both are mainly used as a special character then next about this aerial chyma and eight cavity is mainly used for the floating on the water because these are called as a water fins called as a water fins then come to the anatomy of the rhizome here rhizome shows some special characters here epidermis is common two layered then next come to the cortex cortex is uh, first one is air cavity and air cavity is present in between trabeculae also present then come to the inner cortex inner cortex have the two regions one is a parenchyma and the other one is a sclerenchyma then next to you go the endodermis then next pericyte then the middle cortex middle part is composed with the ring like xylem vessels these are xylem vessels this thick region is called as xylem then next come to the inner endodermis and inner pericyte these are special character here then the total complete middle uh, core part is composed with medulla or it medulla or it region is the, the middle portion this is the ds of rhizome you observe here rhizome this is the parenchyma then next come to the parenchyma and sclerenchyma then endodermis and pericyte this is the xylem in between the xylem phloem is present then come to the inner endodermis then inner pericyte the middle region is composed with the medulla or it region this is you observe the ds of rhizome then yes marsilia special characters are you identify easily with the morphology 